Oh yeah. Hey guys, it's my Shay here and I'm doing something a little bit different. It's called the Mark Shay rant and because I got something to say. And the title of this rant is Hollywood Stop. I mean, please stop. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry for being a little bit sweaty and all that. It's just like I had something to say and all, I just had to get it out and it's a 40 degree day heat. 40 degrees Celsius here in Australia and it's warm Whew. but yeah I had something to say and it's really enough is enough and today was the final straw when I heard that they're thinking about rebooting or bringing back in some form Firefly you know a, a great show I'm sure many of you will attest to yeah they're talking about maybe bringing back Firefly but they'll bring it back for today's audiences and we all know what that means don't we ha <laughs> ha yeah now it's like look it's getting in beyond a joke it's really beyond a joke and I just had something to say about it now I'm a huge fan of a bunch of things like Terminator and Marvel Cinematic Universe for the most part for 99% of it so far um, and of course I am a Star Wars nerd over the Star Trek. No, Star Trek's pretty cool, but I was always on the Star Wars side. And yeah, okay, first off, if you wanna know a lot about what's going on with these things, check out these dudes. These are the guys I watch a lot. They're, they're really entertaining and they've got a lot to say and I agree with most of it. So yeah, check out people like uh, the Critical Drinker, um, The Quartering, Geeks and Gamers, uh, there's just a few of them, I'll pop up their uh, logos and that so you can check them out and I'll try and remember to put them in the links. Um, but there's some things that they haven't said that I want to get off my chest and later on there'll be a bit of spoiler stuff. But what's really important is I'm a person that hates spoilers. It's like, if there's something I want to see, then I don't want to know anything about it. And I'll get pissed off with anybody that does. So that's why I'm giving you a bit of heads up. There will be some talk spoiling The Rise of Skywalker and Dark Fate if you haven't seen those. Though, because I want to touch on those um, later on. But with the Disney trilogy, um, you know, I don't care anymore. It's like I haven't even seen The Rise of Skywalker or Dark Fate. And I don't want to. And it's like, I don't care about the spoilers because The Last Jedi totally trashed it. And definitely check out some of the reviews of the guys I've mentioned, especially Critical Drinker. I love that guy. Um, and uh, Computing Forever. Uh, uh, what's his name? D uh, Cullen, I think it is. Uh, redhead dude, he's awesome. Uh, they did some awesome reviews on a lot of these things and it's like because I don't care I'm just having a look and it's like yeah spoil the movie for me what do you think because I, I reckon it's gonna be a piece of shit because the last lot trashed it and oh, I'm bloody sweaty in this room but I gotta get this done because I'm leaving soon so I've, I've got uh, leaving to go away to the Tamworth Festival so I gotta get this done now but yeah, it's like Firefly when I bring it back. You had your shot. You didn't want to bring it back before. And so Joss Wheaton, before he went insane, did Serenity. I used to, oh, Joss Wheaton was just, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's still pretty good as a writer, but he's just sort of gone off in the wokeness again as well. Um, but he did Serenity, wrapped it up. Fine, you didn't want to bring it back even after Serenity, you lost your chance. Don't bring it back. Stop trashing icons. You know, it's like, it's insane. I just, it just really boils my blood. And like I said, I'm not going to talk about a lot of the things that the other guys do. They do it better. And go check, him out, check them out because, yeah, once you get started watching them, you tend to just keep watching them. <laughs> They're really cool. But, yeah, it's like... Okay, there's a few things I really got to get off my chest first off. Is stop taking crappy ideas for classics 
and thinking you can improve on them instead of expanding them. And like half of these remakes, I cannot stand remakes. I think there's probably like three or four remakes and I can't even think of them at the moment. If I remember them, I'll pop them up on the screen so you can see which ones I think were okay. But 90% of remakes are just trash and, I, and I'm certain most of the remakes now is somebody has this idea for a story. They just got no originality. But somebody's got an idea for a story and then some other idiot in Hollywood says, yeah, but you know what we'll do? We'll, we'll take this franchise over here and we'll turn the cat, we'll make that character this one of this one and we'll just call it a sequel. And so I'm sure they're taking these crap stories that aren't good enough for a movie of their own and then slapping a brand on it and saying, ooh, you know, we'll just make it a sequel or a prequel to this other franchise. And it's just insane. It's like these, you know, because like you can see it's sort of like, some of these remakes and that, they just have nothing to do with the original stuff. And it's almost like, oh, we'll just cash in on it. Oh my God, this whole wokeness thing. Get over it. Now, don't try and go, oh, he hates the wokeness thing. He's a misogynistic. Da, 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 da. Bullshit. I can give you plenty of examples. Like, hey, we're talking, you know, in the thumbnail, there's uh, Captain Marvel. Ooh, there's a groundbreaking thing. I can show you tons of strong women you know it's like we don't need mary sue's anymore you know come or race skywalkers now sorry we don't need that crap anymore get over it it doesn't sell your movies are bombing can't you see that why because we don't want that shit and don't say it's ooh, you're sexist and misogynistic there's plenty of strong female characters that have weaknesses and vulnerabilities and kick ass and everybody loves them and I can put up a whole bunch on the screen which is probably what I'm doing right now so don't give me any of that crap we're sick of political correctness and guess what it doesn't make your movies good or anything like that people are sick of it they're not buying it get a grip just stop you know, and it's like I said, I hate spoilers. So I'm going to be talking to some, some spoilers here. So if you don't want to know anything about Rise of Skywalker and all that, or Dark Fate, even though I haven't watched them, but I have seen enough, just turn off now. I don't want to spoil anything for you if you're into it, but okay, getting into it. All right. Dark Fate, for example, the Terminator series. I'm sorry. There is two Terminators only. Two, two Terminators. Terminator 1 and Terminator 2. That's it. The story ended. No matter what the hell you say. There is no extra canon or crap. Why was Terminator 3 made? Because Arnold Schwarzenegger wanted to run for office and he needed some goddamn money. Then you had Salvation while he was in office. And then when he came out, he was broke, so he needed some money, so he made the next one. That's why these keep getting made. So don't bullshit about this. Two Terminators. The to justify the Terminator 3 and Terminator Genesis and all that shit. It doesn't make sense. The logic is stupid. You're just cashing in money. Fine, cash in money. But don't trash what came before, like Dark Fate. Okay, yes, I haven't seen it. I don't need to see it. I've seen the first two minutes. John Connor getting shot just a sooner, small area after freaking Terminator 2. He was shot as a young boy? Are you serious? Just so you can have some female empowerment story. Come on. Bullshit. The whole point, you know, you, you can't just trash the movie like that. You, dark fate, it bombed. Why? Because it doesn't make sense. So, a Terminator. Okay, but then, let me get this straight. So, it's not Skynet, it's an off-branch. Well, if an off-branch is sending Terminators back, then where'd the Terminator, the Arnie Terminator that killed John Connor come from if Skynet no longer existed? Duh! It's simple. Like, I don't need to see the movie because I know it's going to be shit. It is pathetic. And oh my God, Star Wars. Now, okay, Shadowversary, he's cool. Got to see his review of The Rise of Skywalker, but also... You know, all these guys that are talking about how it just destroys the logic and the characters and, um, you know, just the whole lore of a show. There's six. There is six Star Wars movies. 
and you got the Clone Wars. Okay, now that's that's the go. Disney trilogy is nothing. It don't count. It, it's a, it's a universe that's kind of like Star Wars, but there's different rules, different things. Okay, they've tried to throw in characters again. Different story set in a Star Wars, but let's throw in some original characters, and it's Star Wars. No, it don't work that way. Force Awakens was a good attempt and got even me interested. I loved The Force Awakens. I thought, okay, yeah, it was pretty much a new hope, but th there was a lot of setup. What could go, you know, what could happen? Ooh, ooh, ooh. What happened? Last Jedi happened. Totally trashed it. It was garbage. Everybody knows it was garbage. It's why it bombed. And from there, there was nowhere to go. But Palpatine? Oh, we need a bag like Palpatine? Are you serious? You bring back something that just makes the first six null and void. Like I said, everybody else talked about, you know, from Vader's arc, Luke's arc, everything. Bringing Palpatine back and making it Palpatine's story instead of Skywalker's story is just insane and stupid. You are better off, if you really wanted to surprise everybody and freak everybody out, bring back, the. if you needed a bad guy, bring Jar Jar Sith. Jar Jar Binks back as a Sith Lord. That is a awesome fan theory and that would have been a ton better than Palpatine who was dead and cloning and all that. You know, might as well had alternate timelines. Come on. Bullshit! Like I said, I haven't seen the movie. I don't need to see the movie like Space Horses on a ship. Really? Um, you know, but I saw the last... Okay, I saw the scene where Rey zaps the Emperor and there's been plenty of said about that, which I agree with. You know, it's like, why didn't Palpatine just stop? I've seen that scene. You know, boom, boom, ah, whoopie do. You know, and... Oh my god, what, she was too lazy to dan dig a damn hole herself? She had to use the force, ooh, there's the door thing, and put the lightsabers in and just, oh yeah, fill the hole up, you know, with my powers because I'm a Mary Shoe. Well, now it's a Ray Skywalker. And then that whole thing, I'm a Ray Skywalker. Yeah, it, I saw that, that, that would have pissed me off if I gave money for that. I do not even want to see it. What? the hell are you doing? Like I said, you would be better off having a surprise where Jar Jar Binks, the Sith Lord, if you haven't heard about that, go YouTube it and check out the theory of Jar Jar Binks, Sith Lord. That actually was really cool. But that would have been 10 times better than Palpatine. Come on. Haven't you got any originality in your brains anymore? And now you want to do this to Firefly and many others? It's like, oh my god! Now, I am interested in the new Ghostbusters. That looks interesting. Although, you know, it's got that whole Stranger Things vibe, which I'm a fan of. Um, but yeah, it's sort of like, okay, I can kind of see what they're doing with it. But there's a reason why Ghostbusters 2016 failed. There's a reason why Ocean's 8 failed. There's a reason why um, Charlie's Angels failed. Get it through your head. Just stop! Oh my god! Stop trashing our memories. We have fond memories and thoughts of this. Basically, you're taking our child heroes and then you might as well just say, oh yeah, they were pedophiles. Just make us think of it totally, in a totally different wrong vein. You're trashing our heroes, you're trashing our things. That's not cool, that's not hip, that's just retarded. You can have strong male characters. And yes, strong white characters, strong black characters. You don't have to turn Thor, a comedic sidekick, to Valkyrie in his own goddamn movie. You want to show a strong woman, you know, give Valkyrie her own damn movie. She doesn't have to be the, the, the hero and the star of Thor. Ragnarok, I hated that one. And then you get this crap with bloody Captain Marvel. Now, I... From what I've heard, it's not as bad as people made it out to be, but it's still the whole, ooh, man, you know, and it's like, we don't need Mary Sue's. 
you know, I can, you know, my one of my my very favorite universe on TV is the Buffyverse. I love Buffy and Angel and everything around that. The, yeah, it's a strong woman who has vulnerabilities. They're strong male characters. You know, it, it was a well-written, full TV show. Yeah, it went off into the games and into um, comic books afterwards and all that. But that's another thing. You've got to keep it contained. Here's a, here's a thing from somebody who's a fan of movies, who does a bit of filming and stuff. If you need to see a book, read a book, or play a game or something to understand something happened in your movie, you failed. The movies should be self-contained. Now, I know there's a lot of fans, especially Star Wars fans, they're like, oh, yes, but you got the games, you got the comics, you got the books, you got all this, uh, the expanded universe and all that. If you need the, to read the expanded universe to understand something in the movies, you failed, and it's a shit story. I mean it, because not everybody can afford the games. Not everybody can afford the specialties. If, they're, if you're a Star Wars fan, right, and, and also not every country gets the expanded universes of these things. So the movie is dead canon. The expanded movies can create some canon for the fans, but not everybody gets to see the expanded universes. And if your movie relies on it, you failed, your, your movie failed. Because you got shit in your movie that people don't understand and it's like, well, you go read the book. No, I'm watching the movie. You explain it in the movie. I'm sick of these references and that and it's like, oh, well, you'll get the book. No, I won't. And what if I'm in a country that doesn't get the book? How can I ever do it? No, the movie is the key or the TV show is the key. Right? Perfect example of expanded universe done right, The Matrix. Now, I know everybody's a fan of the sequels, but they had an expanded universe. They had the games, right? The, the Matrix game actually told the story of other characters, Nobi and Ghost. Their trip, that, their story that ran in conjunction with Neo and Morpheus and Trinity's story. And it comes up and then it hits the point and then you got the third movie. And it was a really interesting way of having an expanded universe interact with the movie. But you don't need to see the game story to get the story that was the trilogy. You don't need that. Now, if you needed the game to understand the movie, it's like, well, you failed the movie. And Matrix didn't do that. And then they had the online thing afterwards and everything. So, yeah, that's all cool. Matrix showed you can do it right, but if you need to be reading books and, and buying other stuff to explain your movie, your movie sucked. And this whole Palpatine, yeah, you know, oh, yeah, but like I said, everybody else talked about it better. But these are things that are just pissing me off, and Hollywood, you have to stop! Because it, oh, God. I just want really good stories, and we all do. Now, Joss Whedon, before he went insane, had amazing stories and they were contained they were they, they were just well written well crafted go back to the original ghostbusters and all that sort of stuff you know they were amazingly written stories you can do it but you're lazy hollywood and i can include the television in it as well and yeah this whole thing is like oh people like oh yes rose skywalker sucks but mandalorian that's cool well i don't have disney plus how many streaming services do I have to buy? The only thing I'd buy um, Disney Plus for is for The Mandalorian. You know, so I don't care. That's not canon with the Star Wars thing. This is the crap. Trying to expect, have things just floating everywhere else. Not everybody is getting what people are calling canon now. So if there's a TV show that you're into, that is canon. Anything else is extra. It can be canon, but what is in the show is what's going on. Same thing with movies. If you're doing a thing of movies, that is your canon. You can extend it to the expanded universe, but unless everybody is getting it, just because it comes out in America doesn't mean it's going to get out here in Australia or even in any other country that they're fans of this show. So 
just stop and you know it, make your movies the way they should be self-contained stories with good writing but we expect you know real stories with consistency and continuity it's not hard like oh my god look at arrow for example season three of arrow i was sitting there watching it going did any of you writers actually see season one that's not arrow okay now there's if there's fans of arrow whatever but i i think that's the worst show on television oh my god I, I couldn't even watch it all. God, like season four and like the acting was awesome. Bad story, bad, you know, awesome effects. You know, Arrow has got awesome acting, awesome effects. Shit story. We expect stories and we expect continuity. And that is what's supposed to be the most important in your movies, Hollywood. You can make us all, ooh, ah, over flashy shit. And apparently, from what I've heard from people that I know that have gone and seen it, it's really good eye candy. So, Rise of Skywalker, if you guys want to see spaceships and explosions, it's not too bad, apparently. But story-wise, from what I've seen myself, garbage. I'm not going. You're not getting a cent out of me. You know, and same thing with the makers of Terminator. You can't take the story and then just go, oh... Not, a story's got to make sense for God's sake. And it's not that hard to do. Please, stop. Get some originality. Get some decent story writers. And make some decent movies again. So, anyway, I'm rambling on. If you like these sort of... If you want to see more of this sort of ranting... <laughs> I've got lots of opinions. But this is something I just had to get out. Um, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Um, got some good things coming up uh, in 2020. Uh, but yeah, subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you if you liked it. If you leave a comment down below, tell me what you think of thoughts. I've got more that I could say on this, but it's just getting too long. I don't want to go on like half an hour. Anyway, guys, I'm actually see ya.